Hey everybody, it's Christine. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a new video for you that is for Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. I'm going to be working with the Wish Big Boy collection from Bella Boulevard, which obviously has a birthday theme when you think Wish Big. And it has a lot for the little guys, but it also has some really good elements for the older kiddos. And so I am using it today to do a layout about my 14 year old son. Bet you haven't seen too many birthday layouts for a 14 year old out there. I know it's a little harder to come by teenage boy layouts. So hopefully you will enjoy my approach to this. Now, I am going for fairly clean, but also a little roughed up. And you're gonna see what I mean by that in a few minutes here. I am working with a pretty tight color scheme, trying to kind of work the colors together and create, I don't know if color blocking is quite the right word, but essentially trying to group my colors together. So right now I have glued down half inch strips all the way across the layout using my dual tip glue pen. Now here comes the next big element. And if you're looking at it and going, what in heaven's name and why does it look like stuff is already on there? This layout took me quite a while to come together. I love the collection. I had everything I needed to make it work, but things were just not flowing for me. And so I literally put it together, took it apart, changed things so many times I can't even tell you. I think I worked on this for four days, which is almost unheard of for me. Um, so what you see there is a 10 inch circle that I have cut out, roughed up, distressed it. I just went after it. So what I did is I took the 10 inch circle and then I cut around creating a spiral and leaving some space in between the spiral layers. I guess that's the right word for it. Um, and you can see it's got that messy look. I, I pulled the edges up. I really went for not a real clean circle. And that was all intentional. Partially because I've got a lot of clean lines going on already. Partially because I'm doing a teenage boy layout. And so I wanted to have a different feel to it than from like a little boy. Don't necessarily want it to be cutesy. Um, I don't want it to be ugly by any means, but I do want it to just have a different feel. And so that's one way I am approaching this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my picture, which is a square picture, and I printed it in black and white. Now I could have gone with color, but because I was working with a, a layout that really was dependent on the colors, the colors really tell the story, and because the picture had a lot of colors in it, I opted to print it in black and white. So, he still stands out, he's still there. I just don't have the bajillion colors from the restaurant that we are at going on. Now, you can see I've adhered that in there and I've got some elements on there. And if you're thinking, aren't you gonna talk about all those embellishments that you've added already? I am, give me time. I've even got some close up pictures to show you here in just a minute, um, but I don't want to leave out the rest of the process. So really this video, <laughs> it's like a collaboration of four days work. And like I, I pull in some stuff from one day and then I pull in some stuff from another day and it's like this big whole goofy mess. And I didn't even know honestly if I was gonna be able to pull a video together for it. So that's why we're a little bit scattered at this point. Now you can see I'm adding on pieces right now. Those are ones that did not come up when I pulled the circle up. Um, I've got chipboard on there. I've got some ephemera pieces, um, quotes, and just a whole bunch of little pieces. And you can see the color blocking coming together. So I've got that dark navy-ish royal somewhere in between blue up top. I've got that really pretty green, I've got yellow, and then I've got that turquoise color down at the bottom. And all of those are highlighted in the stripes as well, so pulling the whole thing together. Now, one of the things I really wanna talk about today is why in the world would I want to have both 3D foam squares and 3D foam circles from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L? There is a time and place for those all to fit into most of my layouts and most of the time they both get needed. So here you see, I have got every size of the 3D foam squares as well as every size of the 3D foam circles on the back of my elements. Um, in some cases they could substitute for the other, but in a lot of cases they can't. Um, especially like look at that little heart there. The squares were not gonna work great in those top little bumps of the heart. Um, but the square does work great in the bottom point. Um, and so that was one situation where I needed 
to have both of those. And so I'm thankful that they make both sizes. They've only had the circles for about a year now, and I love having the option to use either one instead of having to trim out my 3D foam shapes. Now, carrying on, I'm back to the layout so you can see where all those shapes are at now. I just had flipped them over to show you those real quick. And thankfully I did take some pictures of those before I tore up the whole layout. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my title now. And I'm gonna use this big giant chip boy, chipboard boy, <laughs> not chip boy, uh, chipboard boy word. Um, it has all the colors that I'm working with. It's big, it's bold, and I just really love it. There are a lot of great title options within this collection, and you definitely are not going to be struggling for how to create your title. My biggest struggle was just figuring out, oh, which one do I really want to use today versus um, all of them. Now, here I've got an acrylic word, birthday, in that turquoise color, and you can see I put it in on two pieces. As I was pulling up some other stuff, I accidentally broke it in half. Truly does not make any difference. I doubt you can even tell it on the picture. And I just used some mini adhesive dots to secure that so that it would stick on there really good. I knew like the dual tip glue pen wasn't gonna work. Definitely a runner wasn't going to work. And this is where those adhesive dots are fabulous because it's a heavier piece, it's plastic, so it's more slippery, and it needs something strong. I'm gonna add in a few more little details here, including this little tab, uh, which says wish big. And I'm gonna just find some ways now to add my final touches, bringing in some more color, um, pulling the whole thing together. At this point, it's still, while there's quite a bit going on, it's still a little bit too simple for my taste. And so, I'm just looking at it and thinking, okay, what different things can I add here to take it to the level that Christine likes it to look? You also notice that I added on some journaling, which I typed out. I am gravitating more towards typed journaling lately. Not really sure why exactly, but um, I'm doing that more and more. And if you watch my channel regularly, you've probably picked up on that. And so we'll see if that sticks. It is kind of a pain to have to run down to the computer and print it out and yada, yada, yada. But um, I do like the look of it, especially today. I feel like it just, I don't know. It just, it brings it together a little better than I would have otherwise. Now I'm gonna use a little star punch and just punch out some stars in that turquoise color as well as that darker blue color to add as some little twinkly embellishments. You can see that just adds another little pop of color throughout. And so right now I'm just kind of figuring out how many different places do I want them. Ultimately I decide, yeah, I don't want them over on that left side and I'm a little too heavy, so I'm really gonna end up just going with three here so that I don't get overwhelming. Um, it's a really easy, like this is the point where I kind of tend to feel like I really have to be cautious. If I go overboard on adding things, it can get out of control quickly. Now, my final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some yellow and I'm going to do that by bringing in just a little bit more color, um, I felt like it needed a little more still. And so let me show you these photos of how I finished things off. So if you're looking at it right now and thinking, yeah, it's good, but there's something else missing, I am with you. I, like I said, I wanted some more color. And so what I'm gonna do is cut another set of half inch strips of the yellow paper, and I'm gonna add that to the top and bottom as well as a little strip just below the top of my picture. I'm gonna add in some yellow uh, Nouveau drops, and that will help pull the whole thing together. And I'm sure you will agree the final product is great. I'm really happy with it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Check out all the details of this layout over at the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L blog, and we will see you again next time.